you've just got a dopamine hit. Now, a lot of people think that you get dopamine hits when you get a certain reward, but dopamine is actually released before you get the reward. It's the expectation for the reward. Nowadays, every single thing that we do, every single website that we enter, every single social media that we use is set up in a way to spark your dopamine. Even when you go into YouTube and you pull down the homepage, every single time that you do that, you get a dopamine hit. That is made in a way to mimic the casino lever. And every single time that you do it, you get something new on your homepage. Your mind starts to expect that. And that's when you get the dopamine hit. And there's a lot of dopamine detox videos on YouTube. But do we actually have to remove all of the dopamine from our lives? Is that really necessary? Most people on YouTube seem to agree that yes, but I personally like to keep my dopamine levels really, really high because that way I can stay a lot more focused, more motivated, and even look forward to get a lot more stuff done. If you're getting confused with all this information because you clicked on a video that said dopamine detox, and now I'm telling you that I keep my dopamine levels really, really high, you should. But wait, because I can explain. But before I jump into this video, I want to tell you that I created a Discord server that you can go in there and there's a specific channel for everyone that wants dopamine detox. So if you want to implement the steps that you're going to learn in this video and you want to do it with a community, go ahead and join the Discord and look for the channel that says dopamine detox. So to make this video easier to understand, I broke it into two parts. The first part of this video is going to teach you how to remove the bad sources of dopamine from your brain and be able to regain your focus. And the second part of this video, it is so powerful. I'm going to teach you how to take all of the dopamine and channel it into activities that actually move the needle forward. That means that the expectation that you have whenever you go on social media, I'm going to teach you how you can use that same dopamine hit and get the same expectation and the same desire to do the things that you actually need to do, like working out, studying. Imagine if you could look forward to every single day going to the gym or working on that life-changing project. Yes, exactly. That is exactly what I created in my life and I'm going to show you how you can implement it in yours. And if you're excited to learn how to do this, as I am excited to teach you, go ahead and subscribe to this channel right now because I post free videos every single week here on the channel with different methods for you to make money online, build online businesses and improve your finances. And if you're not subscribed, you are going to miss the future videos. And that is going to be a shame because this is completely free and you can always change your mind. And if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up to the subscriber fund, which is a giveaway that I do here every single Friday on the channel of $50 to two people that sign up to the subscriber fund. All you have to do to sign up is just subscribe to the channel and use the link below and you're automatically entered to win. So like Cal Newport mentions on his book, Deep Work, people think that they lack energy or knowledge to accomplish their goals when they actually lack focus. And the easiest and fastest way that you can regain your focus is by removing the temptations that cause that dopamine hit that gets you hooked on those things. So the first thing that you have to block to be able to block those temptations is to limit your phone with time. Nowadays, every single iPhone has an option that you can limit the apps that you use to a certain specific time of the day or for a specific time during the day. So let's say I wanted to block my Twitter account so that I can only use it for five minutes a day. That is going to help me so much in keeping control of how long I'm using Twitter for. There's probably something similar in Android. I'm not an Android user, so I'm not familiar with that, but I'm pretty sure Android has some something similar as well. Another thing that the iPhone has is focus modes. On focus modes, you can set a different homepage, different apps, notifications. You can set every single aspect of your phone. You can modify that to be able to fit each activity that you're doing on your day. So let's say you go to sleep, you put your phone on sleep mode. Let's say you're working, you put your phone on work mode. You're studying, you put it on study mode. Each mode, you're going to configure it in a specific way tailored to your needs. This is one of the biggest tools that I use in my day to day. And it's one of the things that helped me the most. The next thing that you have to do is find a habit tracker. The one that I use is called Habits. It's on the App Store. I'm not sure if it's available for Android, but like I said, you might be able to find something very, very similar for Android. This app Habits, it allows me to set all of my day-to-day -day tasks and habits that I want to break or make, and that keeps me accountable. And it also reminds you when it's time to do or not to do the habit that you're trying to build or break. So I think it's fundamental that you get a habit tracker. Either you want to break your bad habits or you want to build good ones, which I think that in your situation, you want to do both. Another thing that you should avoid is avoid watching adult films. Don't watch 
do that. Just stay away from it. I don't care what your excuse is, what you say, it is not good for you. Just stay away from it. The time frame that we're going to be doing this challenge for is seven days. I want you to do this for at least seven days. The reason why I say seven days and not more than that is because I think seven days is enough time for you to be able to remove the bad ones and channel that into the good ones. And the last one, you need to avoid junk food healthy food is proven to support the healthy dopamine levels in your brain and eating healthy is going to give you more energy is going to make you more focused it is good for you all across the board it is even going to make you more healthy go to the gym and work out every single day going to the gym and working out every single day is going to give your brain a boost of dopamine working out is proven to release dopamine in your brain the good one and that is something that you want to build the habit for you want to build a habit of releasing dopamine every single workout because that is going to get you expecting to go to the gym. That is going to get you craving that sensation of going to the gym. And this is a habit that you want to build. So start doing some physical activity every single day. There's no days off every single day for at least an hour. Do this for at least seven days. Going to the gym every single day is also going to strengthen your mindset. And that is going to get you in the habit of not eating junk food. It's going to make the other temptations easier to deal with. Let's say you go to the gym and you spend an hour or two at the gym. When you see a sandwich, you're going to be less likely to eat that sandwich because you spend an hour at the gym and you're not going to want to waste your efforts eating that sandwich. That's just one of the benefits. It makes your mind stronger. You learn to deal with the pain. You learn to go through that pain and use it to your advantage. The next thing that you need to do is fix your sleep routine. And sleep is something that is very complicated because it is tailored to each person. Every single person has a different need for sleep. So personally, I work hard at the gym every single day. I work out for at least two hours every single day and I need a little bit more time to sleep so I can be sharp all day long to be able to write scripts, to be able to record videos, to be able to run my other businesses, to be able to do every single thing that I need to do in my day to day life. If I'm not sharp every single day, then I can't do anything and all of my businesses get left behind. And the way that I do that is by going to sleep at 10 o'clock and waking up at 7 a.m. Sometimes I go to sleep at 11 and wake up at 7. It doesn't really matter the time that I go to sleep. All that matters is that I go to sleep before 1130 and I wake up at least seven o'clock. If I'm not working out for some reason, then I can get less time in sleep and still feel rested. But if I'm working out really, really hard, I felt that to me, I need a little bit more time to sleep to be able to get rested and feel sharp during the day. What you need to do to figure that out is to look at your daily activities and see how much time you need to sleep and fix your bed, remove any lights from your room, stop looking at your phone at the time you go to sleep. Don't go to sleep watching something or listening to something. Leave your phone in the other room. Stop using your phone right before you go to bed avoid blue lights before you go to bed and if possible maintain your room at a specific temperature i've learned that to me 19 or 20 degrees celsius is an optimal temperature to sleep in the next thing that you need to do is fix your daily routine the app that i use to do this myself is called things free and it's available on mac and iphone and it syncs through all my devices and i just write down the basic top activities that i have to do in my days there are some activities that i do every single day that are just there i put a template and it's there and every single day i just copy them and take them off. But there are certain activities that pop up every single day that are just unique to that day. But even though there are unique activities that popped up in that specific day, I have a specific time frame inside my day that I can use to tackle those activities. I wouldn't say block times, but I have blocked spaces. I do everything in a certain order. This also helps me be more productive. This is something that you can look into do as well. You don't have to be like Elon Musk and block out your whole day in five minute increments. How much do you sleep? About six hours. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not that crazy. For you, that's, I mean, for someone who does as much as you, that's actually, that's impressive that you can squeeze that in. Yeah. I try, I've tried sleeping less, but then total uh, productivity decreases. Yeah. So you feel like six is the number where it's yeah, like, six, six. But have a basic structure. Say that you do something every single Monday. Just put it on your calendar and have a basic structure of your daily activities. Remove TV and entertainment, video games, Netflix, TV, whatever it is that you're watching right now, just remove it for at least seven days. This is going to help you so much when you start trying to channel your dopamine to the activities that you will actually want to do. TV, these entertainment activities, they only make you waste time. And believe me, when you start channeling your dopamine to the 
the activities that you actually want to accomplish, you're going to see how useless these activities are. And two other activities that I highly recommend that you do is meditating for at least 10 to 15 minutes a day. This activity will help you build self-discipline. And the second activity that will also help you do that is journaling every single day. Journaling will help you take those thoughts out of your mind, be able to see your own mistakes and a whole lot of benefits. If you don't know how to do journaling, go ahead and check out my 11 tips for teenagers video. Yes, it's for teenagers, but those tips are valid for any human being. And one of the things that you can do while you're doing your dopamine detox is build your freedom business. And one example of freedom businesses are YouTube channels. And if you want to learn directly from me, how you can build your YouTube channel from zero A to Z, how I went from zero to 250,000 subscribers in a span of six months, all of the strategies, all of the hacks, the tricks, the tips, everything that I implemented in my own YouTube channel that you're watching right now, I comprised them and made my learning program called YouTuber Pro that you can check out in the description of this video for a one-time fee of $247, one-time fee, lifetime access. You even get access to the future updates. Building a YouTube channel will also get you into the producer mindset and you're going to start producing entertainment instead of consuming entertainment. Now, one thing that people have a misconception about is about dopamine. Dopamine is not something that you detox. It's not something that you remove. It's not a toxin that you remove from your body. It's always going to be there. And the trick with dopamine is learning how to use it to accomplish the things that you actually need to do. So believe it or not, we humans are not so different from rats. There's a specific study that they did to rats. They took a rat, they put him in a box and they taught the rat to every single day, go into that box and press a button. And every single time that the rat pressed the button, he got a reward. And by doing that every single day, the rat started to crave that dopamine hit that he got from pressing the button. And us humans, we're not so different from rats. But how does that apply to you? Well, you can use that same concept to be able to get hooked on the activities that you actually need to do. The way that you do that is by rewarding yourself, even though if it's something very, very small, every single time you do a task that you have to do or that you want to build a habit for. Let's say you want to get into the habit of going to the gym. And every single day that you go to the gym, every single day that you do your full workout, you reward yourself with 20 minutes of Netflix. I highly recommend that you don't do the Netflix uh, reward. Find something else that you want. That's one example of it, right? You reward yourself with 20 minutes of Netflix. And every single day by doing that for at least seven to 15 days, after the seven to 15 days, you're going to start craving going to the gym because after you go to the gym, you're going to have that reward. You can implement those small rewards into every single activity that you do. And I'm constantly doing these things myself. And I also post me doing these things on my Instagram account and in my Twitter account. So if you're not following me on those, go ahead and follow me there. I post content there every single day and only three times a week here on the YouTube channel. I'm not really sure where I saw this for the first time, but I read a book once and I read that habits that are bad for you are called addictions and habits that are good for you are called passions. One example of that is when you start going to the gym. When you first start going to the gym, it's really, really bad because your muscles get sore. You don't want to go to the gym. You're not really seeing results. You're, you feel weak. But after a month, two months, three months going to the gym every single day, you start getting stronger. You start getting that dopamine hit. You start getting hooked into that activity and you actually start looking forward to that. Look, one thing that I do myself is give myself a huge motivation hit at the start of that activity. I give myself a reason to be motivated at the start. I think a man should have absolutely no interest in whether he's actually happy or not. If I wake up and I'm unhappy, I will do the exact same things as if I am happy. I will go to the gym the same. I will work the same. How I feel has no impact on how I live my life. But bear in mind that motivation goes away and you need to be able to use those small wins to build the discipline to continue going after the motivation fades. So what do I mean by this? Let's say you're a guy and your girlfriend just broke up with you. Use that anger, use that motivation to start going to the gym really, really hard for about seven to 15 days and then start rewarding yourself after every single workout. When you do that, after the 15th day, when your motivation fades away, because it will fade away at some point, then your dopamine is already going to be centered to that activity. And you're also going to build the discipline to continue going every single day because of those small wins. So I'm not saying you have to break up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend to do this. Just find something that motivates you and use that as a peak motivation to start doing that activity. And another way that you can do this is to make the process pleasurable. There are several ways you can do this. If you're going to the gym, try going to the best gym in your city. Go to a really good gym where you really enjoy the environment, the people around you. You think the gym looks nice. Whatever it is that inspires you, 
do that. If you're working, if you want to study, if you need a new computer to be inspired, to make it pleasurable, buy a new computer. If you need to be in a different place, go to a library, go to a coffee shop, use the environment to inspire you, make the process pleasurable. This is something that I really learned how to do very early on in my life. And nowadays I can tell you that I really look forward to doing my work when I'm not doing my work, when I don't go to the gym, when I don't record videos, when I don't do scripts, when I don't work on my businesses, I just feel like there's something missing. I feel bad. I don't feel those dopamine hits. I literally, I can feel the dopamine hits every single day when I go to the gym. I can feel the dopamine when I'm trying to build something really, really nice. When I'm trying to build that script, that perfect script, every single time when I record a video, when I send it off to be edited, when I receive it back and it's the best video that I've ever recorded, I feel the dopamine. I feel that dopamine rush. It's a really good feeling. That's exactly what you need to learn. If you learn how to implement these things, I'm pretty sure that you're going to get addicted to your work. But remember the quote, the things that are bad for you are called addictions and the things that are good for you are called passions. So take activities that are going to make a difference, a positive difference in your life and become passionate about them. And that's exactly how you do it. And remember, if you want to get 12 free fractional shares from Weibo, valued up to $3,000, go ahead and open a free account in their app and deposit at least $100 to qualify your account. They'll give you the shares. You can sell them and cash out. There's no catch. It's free money. And remember, if you want to get together with other people doing the dopamine detox with you, go ahead and join the Discord. And if you want to get access to these money making methods before I release them here on the channel, go ahead and join the mailing list as well. And while you're doing that, if you want to see my video on the three ultimate steps that you can take to profit during the 2023 recession, click the video on your screen right now to be redirected to that video. I'll see you on that video. Work hard, play harder.